Good morning, everybody. I think this morning I am going to use my glasses. Hold on. I'm going to read from uh, Deepak Chopra's uh, The Way the Wizard, uh, Understanding the Lesson. I kind of skimmed over it, refreshed my memory on it and stuff. And uh, I have uh, two uh, used copies. I think they're both hardback uh, of this book uh, on the way now. So uh, eventually I'll be working in a, a giveaway for an opportunity to, you know, I, I don't know if I'm going to give both of them away, like have, uh, or just one and then keep one for later use to maybe give away in the future or whatever. I don't really know. I just went ahead and ordered two. Uh, you can find them fairly good price used. And uh, anyway... Just kind of giving you an update. Um, I'm moving a little slow this morning. That that walk I did yesterday from the, to the church and then around through that field, I think just the terrain of the field was different, you know. So my muscles uh, in one leg got some more work than uh, normal. But that's good for me. So um, I'm just going a little bit easier today on that part. And I might be going to the store here shortly and stuff like that. So I was gonna try to knock this video out. So understanding the lesson, lesson 20, the way of the wizard. Walking a road is a sign of detachment and wizards teach that in detachment lies true freedom. A free person lives in spirit just as a wizard does and is able to do far more good than ever can ever be done outside spirit. This viewpoint is yet acceptable in society because you and I and everyone we know have been conditioned to believe otherwise. We are attached to everything and believe that attachment is what makes our lives work. Our sense of attachment begins with our relationship to this earth. Mortals, the wizards say, are under the illusion that they own the world or control its fate. As as the wizards see it, the world has a spirit that oversees our welfare. We live sheltered within her spirit and are allowed to shape our own fate. But spirit can never be owned or controlled. You want to have the whole world. <clears throat> you want to have the whole whole world, don't you? Merlin asked Arthur one time. No, I don't think so. Replied the boy. Oh, you do. Believe me. You mortals are like a spark that will one day set a whole field of fire. The spark looks tiny, but it spreads and spreads. Do you mean that we will destroy the world? asked Arthur. That depends. Spirit can't be destroyed. And if you come to see yourself as spirit, you will join with the spirit of this earth. The alternative is to ignore spirit. And if you choose that way, you will, you will have no regard for the earth. Her pain will see you seem remote to you. Merlin pointed to a large rock. Kick it, he said. Arthur did as he was told. Ow! He winced. Strange, commented Merlin. The rock got kicked, but you're the one who cried out. What's strange about that, grumbled Arthur, half suspecting that the wizard had made him kick the rock harder than he had planned. This was a lesson about spirit. When you kicked the rock, it was yourself you hurt. The rock didn't protest because the earth never does. Oh, okay. I'm not saying that in the right voice. This was a lesson about spirit. When you kicked the rock, it was yourself you hurt. The rock didn't protest because the earth never does. She is secure in her spirit. Security in spirit is what the earth has to teach you, mortals. But if you become enraged at your injury, which... The rock merely gave back to you. You will be tempted to ignore spirit. You will want to crush the rock, destroy it, and turn it to turn it to your uses. All because the earth is kind enough to cry out when you're when you kick her. It is in the nature of spirit not to protest. There is no harm you can really do to spirit. And although humans have inflicted appalling harm on the earth, the final result is always that we harm ourselves. We don't respect our own spirit. We regard ourselves with fear and anger. You have lost faith in faith, Merlin said. 
you no longer seem to trust in trust. What this means is that the qualities of spirit, which include love, faith, and trust, must be known and experienced before they can do much good. Most people struggle, struggle against their will. They resort to fear and anger because they feel that these paths have, forced, have been forced on them. Willingness to live in peace depends on not being directed by these negative energies, and that can only happen by adopting the wizard's way. If you want to do good for the world, be completely unselfish and become a wizard, Merlin said. If you want to do good for yourself, be completely selfish and still become a wizard. This may sound like a paradox, but ultimately all spirit is spirit. You walk the earth as an individual, but you also walk it as part of the earth. Therefore, as you regain yourself, you regain the world. And I think that is, well, you know, they did pretty good in the writing here, um, you know, on the, when it gets to the understanding part, I, I like how, like, if you have the book yourself and you're able to, like, read over it, like, dozens of times over a period of time, you know what I mean? Like, uh, <sighs> uh, but what I'm thinking about, I'm about to start myself. I'm about to uh, begin reading this again not on video necessarily but to myself because when i was reading it on video that was the first time of me really reading it and i remember way back saying that in the first few videos that i'm gonna read it and share it with you guys every morning or every day that i did do it because i didn't i didn't do it every day for a little while i did it a few times a week then sometimes i was down a minute and but I'm thinking about rereading it for myself and taking more time, not feeling like I got a videotape it and just do it. And then when I get done with that, then revisiting, sharing it, you know, again, like living a life of awareness. I think a lot of people got that. A lot of you guys uh, kind of found me through me during the time I was reading that. And so now we're on way of the wizard and close to the end of it. But like I said, I've got two copies on the way that I'm going to be. Um, actually, I know uh, when I was reading this, I remembered when I ordered one more, uh, another copy. And uh, so uh, one copy is to like people can put their name in and we'll see if you win it. Not send it to you. Speaking of which, uh, coming up, I'm going to have that giveaway soon about that action figure I bought I gotta make a video about this this guy he's gonna be I, he, it's kind of glary but he's a cool looking action figure uh, I've had Joy Toy before on there or on my I've got a few action figures from them they're really good detailed and very articulated anyway I'm gonna get off here uh, there you go Way of the Wizard, understanding the lesson, lesson 20. Until next time, Mr. Greg Cloud, Sage of the Eternal Moment, over and out. Ditto.